they told me that Jewish people drink blood, I was so shocked. I didn't want to be Jewish anymore. My name is Luda. I was born to a Jewish family, Bukharan Jewish family. So when I was uh, 18, we were going to go to Israel, but we were really scared because of the wars and everything. And we just were worried about it. And we had relatives in Austria, and they told us that we should probably go to another country. And we came to New Zealand. I met some Christian friends there, and they invited me to a Christian Bible study. I had ulterior motives. I thought, oh, it will be nice. I will be with other people, and maybe I'll meet somebody. It will be nice. But when I went there, uh, I really was impressed by the meeting. It was a home group. I, I was uh, impressed by uh, the love that they had for each other and by their relationship with God. So they also told me that I needed to invite Jesus into my life. My mom was agitated about it and she started to really uh, fight me on it. She didn't want me to read the Bible, so she would um, she would take all my Bibles and destroy them. As I was investigating uh, and wondering who Jesus was, I would just read and I'd just find uh, different verses in the Bible that spoke about Jesus and the pro prophetic voice of God. And one of those prophecies is Isaiah 53. And when you read it, you can't uh, help it but see that it is Jesus. It is really Jesus. So when I went home, I said, Jesus, if you're the Son of God and the Messiah come into my life. And um, the next day I woke up and I felt like the wall that was between me and God was gone. And then there was an incredible thing that happened to me. I would be walking down the street and then the verses will come to me. I felt like God was showing me something about Israel. And then I'd come home and I'd find, um, you know, I'd open the Bible and find the verses like Jeremiah 31, 32, 33 about, um, you know, God's love for Israel and that God will return Israel, that all Israel will be saved. So here we come. All my life, I was told that it's bad to be Jewish. And then I come and I believe in God. And one of the first principles God teaches me is that it's okay to be Jewish. I have really felt that God has called me to Jerusalem. I finished my midwifery training in uh, England and uh, left England to go and work as a nurse in Hadassah Hospital, Harat Sofim. I was really excited, but here we come. God had promised something and said, you'll be living in Jerusalem, and here I was going to Jerusalem. Second promise that God had given me is my mother. I really was concerned. I wanted her to come to believe in Jesus, just like I did. She told me one day of uh, her experience as she was walking by um, the sea on one side of the road, and she felt God was speaking. To her, Jesus spoke to her from another side of the road, saying, Zoya, Zoya, come to my side. For the side that you're walking on will bring you much trouble. So I asked my mom, I said, so did you do that? And, and she said, no. I said, why not? She said, I didn't want to. Well, she has gone through a lot of trouble, a lot of heartache, a lot of uh, problems. Uh, with her health, uh, with the way she looked at what I believed in. And so I was there with her through all her troubles. And so when she believed, just before she died, that was a wonderful thing. So the long journey of fighting Jesus and fighting the truth had um, ended up with her believing in Jesus. So here we are, um, so all these promises that God has given, they have come to pass, which was incredible. It's the life of excitement and the life of adventure.